Hey, it's Tony with the Code Guys, and today I'm going to show you how to build and use ladders in your Minecraft builds. So, uh, first of all, you're going to go to your crafting bench, open that up, and you're going to take sticks, and you're going to build what looks like a ladder inside of your your crafting panel. So, the left side, the right side, and one in the middle. So, spread these out by right clicking and moving. Um, half of the stack, make a few. I'm going to need a whole lot for the project that I'm working on. This is my strip mine slash quarry that I'm building. It's a big room that is connected to many different strip mines. If you um, come up this pathway, there's strip mines that go to the left and the right, and that's how I find my natural resources. But I'm all the way down as far as you can, well, I'm really far in the ground. So I've built this fountain that I can jump into, and there's a, a long mine shaft to go down. So um, I've got a, a ladder that I'm building, and the way that I did it that was very, it took about five minutes to build all this ladder. If you look up, it just goes on forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a block right where I want to, um, right across from the, where I need the ladder to go. And I just hop on that block, push myself up, because I have already built quite a lot of this ladder. I think I have enough cobblestone to get me to the top. Okay, so this is where I left off building my ladder and you take your ladder And you just point it at where you want to continue the ladder and snap it in place. I'm almost to the top of where I need the ladder to go. So I'll put some more cobblestone down. Build the ladder. And I'm almost at the top. I'm going to replace these top two with cobblestone for continuity. And then I want to throw the last two pieces of ladder down. Then I'm just going to aim at the ground and cut my way back. I'm going to take this cobblestone out that I just used as my scaffolding. Just hold your mouse down and point to the ground and it will turn its way to the floor. Now, I have a pretty big mine system and it's, um, it's, a, it's a little ways from my base. So what I did was I just drilled a hole straight down where I thought it would, where I thought my quarry would be. And I'll show you why I did that in just a second. Okay. So I'm, I'm back at the fountain and I'm going to delete these blocks. So what you have, what I have here is a simple four by four, um, well. And if I swim down on the well, you can see it's fairly deep. You want to make it, I think, three or four deep so you can land in it. So this is the fast way to get up and down into my quarry. The quarry is pretty big. But, okay, so I hop on my ladder. Try 
try this again. Hop on the ladder. And I just aim to the sky. And it's quite a ways down, as you can see. And this is where I have built my base jumping platform. So to get down into this, I just jump, land in the water, and I'm back in my quarry. So this is a really fast way to get in, out, get in and out of your um, the depth of your mining or operation. So. <clears throat> Oh, while I'm here, I'll show you how I have strip mined. I'm sure that um, most of you are aware that's probably the best way to do your uh, resource gathering. I'll see if I have a good example here. Okay. Here I have created a 2 by 2 There's a two by two block separated with one um, horizontal cavern, and I, as you can see, there's been side passageways dug out when I found natural resources. But this is the fastest way to find diamonds: to go down a specific path. And um, I, I went further than I've seen most people do it, um, just because I was finding. A lot of um, a lot of iron, but I have a um, a tunnel that leads down from my main build all the way down um, to the as far as you can go, and um, I got sick of running down this, so I made that mine shaft that goes straight down, and that really has sped up going after resources it um, and I've built a little um, mining operation down here that has everything I need so um, and you can see this is let's see one two three three deep uh, as far as the well to catch you when you jump down is so if you I think I tried with two and I died, and I tried with one and I died. Um, so it needs to be three deep, I think. Um, leave a comment if that's not correct. But thanks for watching, and um, we'll have more beginner Minecraft tutorials in the near future. Hey, it's Tony with the Code Guys, and today I'm going to show you how to build an infinite spring well in Minecraft. First thing you're going to do is you want to dig a four by four hole. And around that hole, you're going to lay stone slab. And you want to lay this up too high. All the way around the 4x4 four four hole. Okay. So now you're going to take your bucket you're going to grab some water and you're going to do opposite corners diagonally so now you'll see that the water's flowing this way and then you'll put the second bucket on the opposite and it creates a neat sunken spring this is really great because you can use this in areas that don't have any water and you will never run out and it does look great because it's flush with the ground so you can put some other ornamentation around it to make to make it really pop I have another well that I have that's one slab raised above the ground and it's a little bit larger and I do like it this 
as well. So it, uh, it does add interest to your entranceways. Um, it gives the appearance of fountains or um, water features. So um, there you go. How to build a infinite spring well in Minecraft. Let us know what beginner Minecraft tutorials you would like to see and stay tuned for additional videos. Hey, it's Tony with The Code Guys and today I'm going to show you how to make about four different color dies and um, four different color wool blocks. And uh, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some green uh, cactus and um, we just come to our furnace and put the cactus on the top, the coal on the bottom, and let that churn away. It's going to give you cactus green. So I'm going to pull that down into our inventory. While this is doing that, I'm going to step over and make some other dye, kind of like a cooking show, but different. And I'm going to take the yellow flower and put it in our crafting bench and it's going to make dandelion yellow so I'm just going to make all that into a die and I'm going to take the rose and I'm going to drop that into the crafting in the, the lower center make some rose red pull that down to our inventory now I'm going to come over to our furnace and grab some of our cactus green Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some, some orange dye. So you're going to pull the the rose red and the yellow and that's going to make an orange dye. So now we have our our um, so now we have our four dyes. So we're going to make some colored blocks. So I'm going to pull the wool, put the wool on the far left and put the red on the right. It's going to create a red wool block. I'm going to switch out the colors and make the dandelion yellow. I'm going to switch it with an orange and make a orange block and now the green. Pull this back into my inventory. And let's show you how they look. Red, yellow, orange, and green. It's as simple as that. We'll do advanced colors um, in another video, but this is our basic tutorial on how to make dye and how to make wool blocks that are colored with the dye. So have a great day. Please rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for additional beginner Minecraft tutorials. Thank you. Hello, it's Tony with the Code Guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bed in Minecraft and um, why you would want to do so. So first what we're going to do is go to our workbench and we're going to take wool and put it in the middle crafting bench um, slots and then we're going to take wooden planks and go across the bottom. As you can see wooden planks on the bottom, wool in the middle makes a bed. Drag that to your inventory and we'll, we'll place it. Um, what you can do is put a trunk behind your bed for a backboard and um, you simply go to your inventory and make sure you're about two blocks from the wall or a block from the wall unless your wall is thick because you don't want mobs to hit you from the other side and count two blocks where the foot of the bed will be um, just simply right click and it will place the bed if you're look whatever direction you're looking in it will put the foot of the bed um, in the second block so um, in this case, I'm looking this way, so the foot of the bed will be the first of the two blocks. 
So why would you want to do that? Um, why would you want to have a bed in Minecraft? Well, my least favorite thing in Minecraft is running around at night. Some people like the drama of that, but I literally can't stand it. Um, so when it's nighttime, so there's a door, you can right click on your bed and it will fade to black and it will be morning. One thing you need to know is that when you do use the bed, it does not speed up time-based events. So things like planting and other things do not speed up. They, the only thing that the bed does is switches daytime to nighttime. Anyone in your, in your build must be in bed to make this event occur. So uh, please rate and subscribe. There will be more tutorials in the near future on basic beginner Minecraft tutorials. So thank you and have a great day. Hello, this is Tony with the Code Guys. Today's video is going to be focused on how to add note blocks into your Minecraft build. A note block is basically a block that when triggered will play a sound. Um, let's start by creating a note block. Let's go to our crafting bench and take wood planks and surround the outside of your crafting window with wooden planks. Then in the center take a redstone and drop that in. This will create a note block. Drag that into your inventory and you're ready to go. What you'll want to do is you'll want to in the floor or in the area that you're going to place your note block you'll want to put a different block based on what sounds you're going to have. So I'll show you how this works. I drop a note block and that makes a bass guitar on top of wood. On glass we get a wood a wood click. On stone we get a bass drum. On sand we get a snare drum. And on dirt or grass, we get a piano. So now the thing you need to know about a, a note block is that there cannot be anything on top of a, a note block or it will not sound. If I put this block on top, it will not, it will not trigger, mute it out. So just make sure that when you build your note blocks, that you do not put anything on top of it. Even a torch will stop the notes from sounding. In subsequent videos, I'm going to teach you how to wire these notes up and make songs, chords, and other special effects with those. Thank you for watching, and this is Tony with the Code Guys. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and look out for additional Minecraft videos in the future. Thank you. Hello, this is Tony from the Code Guys. Today I'm going to show you how to build and install a door in your build in Minecraft. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get some wooden planks and fill the left side, left six of your crafting panel with wooden planks. After doing that you'll get a door, pull that down to your inventory, then you're ready to install. It's as simple as that. You can make doors out of various resources but the wooden door you can snap it right into place and immediately you can keep the pigs out of your build as you can see I've got several outside trying to get in thank you and uh, hope this helps I'll be continuing uh, how-to videos on how to build basic structures inside of uh, Minecraft please rate subscribe and we'll talk to you later Hello, this is Tony from the Code Guys. Today I'm going to show you how to build windows in Minecraft. And uh, the first thing you want to do is we're in our workshop. You're going to want to make some glass. And uh, I'll open up the furnace. You'll see that you put the coal on the bottom and you'll put sand on the top. I'm going to take this glass. I'm going to go over to a wall that is in need of some light. And poke a hole through, move to my glass, and snap the glass in place. It's as easy as that. 
we just need sand, a furnace, and um, you need to smelt the glass and then pop it into place. It does add um, some dimension to your builds and uh, great light source. You can also use it to see baddies outside. And uh, yeah, so please rate, subscribe, and um, stay tuned for upcoming Minecraft how to videos. Thank you. Hello, this is Tony from the Code Guys. Today I'm going to show you how to build and use stairs and how to build a tower. The first thing you want to do when you're wanting to make a tower using stairs is um, you want to make some stairs first. So you'll go to your toolbox and you'll drag cobblestone down the left side, two in the middle, and one on the far right. This will make you four stone stairs. I've already taken the liberty of making several sets of stairs, but I will go ahead and make some more because we may need some for this example. Okay, so I've made 26 set of sets of stairs and I'm going to need some cobblestone. So I will grab some cobblestone. Okay, that should be plenty. So we're going to go and find a spot in my build to build a tower and I'll show you what we're kind of going for. This set of stairs is what we're going to build. All it is is uh, a group, groups of stairs stacked on top of each other that lead up to a tower. Um, so the first thing we'll want to do is build the tower. So I'll come over and I'm just going to build um, a quick six by, excuse me, a three by three tower. So first you'll aim at the ground. One, two, three, four, four, five. And then we'll fall back down. And then we'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four, four, five. Okay, we have a three. I'm going to speed this. I'm going to cut this out and jump right to um, the finished product. Okay, now you see the finished product. Looks just like the one over there. And I'll show you how to build the stair steps. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get in the middle of the tower and you're going to build blocks up until you get to the last block. And then you're going to drop a stair down. Then you're going to fall back down and you're going to build cobblestone back up one two three four and you're going to only go up you're going to go up four I went up one too many so I'm going to drop that one and jump up the air and drop your stair okay so this time we only have to go up two so we go one, oh, one, two, then drop our stair. Okay, then obviously we go one, then we drop a stair, and the last one's just going to be a stair on the ground. So now we have a very clean stair. Now, what you want, there's a couple different options for um, cleaning up 
the outside of the stair so you can do one of two things you can start here to make a rounded stair and take out the cobblestone so you can make a pathway or you can continue and take several of the blocks out to make it look more arched. If you put a cobblestone here it will give it kind of a rounded look. Well it's not really rounded but it gives it more of a blocky look. Or you can take all of the blocks and make it look more like a precarious stair. Take even the bottom block. So now you've got a really thin staircase. I, I opted to leave on this one um, a block here and a block here and a block at the bottom to give it kind of some dimension. I think it looks better than these stairs just kind of hanging out in, the no in nowhere. So um, I'm going to add blocks here, blocks here, and block there. And I think I prefer the look of that. Kind of gives it some dimension that just leaving them stairs don't. Now, um, some people have asked me how do I build these bridges. Here's a trick that really will help you if you need to make precarious bridges. Hold your shift key down and if you, you walk to the edge of a brick it won't let you fall off the side. So you can use that to your advantage. You can... The way I build my one stone bricks across tall situations is I hold the shift key down and then I hold the S down and then you can just move without falling off the brick. So you kind of hover over the brick. If you want to go a different direction, just use the right mouse. Use the mouse and move your camera around. So you're never going to fall off. And I wish someone had told me this when I first started playing Minecraft because you don't know how many times I fell so if you hold the shift key down you're not going to fall off so this what I've shown you today is how to make some stairs how to make them look decent by adding blocks underneath how to build a, a quick tower by using the method of throwing a brick down and jumping and throwing another. You can really go pretty high in the sky by doing that. So um, if you'll do us a favor and subscribe and rate and stay tuned for additional Minecraft videos. We're going to be doing a video a day pretty much on every basic beginner's Minecraft tip that we can. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.